Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm ET69 and welcome back to another Top 5 episode and today we are looking at the Top 5 Overrated Premium Tanks in my opinion. Remember, all of this is all my opinion. You don't have to agree, you don't have to rage in the comments, it is my personal opinion. So, in the Top 5 we have the KPF, uh, the Camp Panzer. I don't really enjoy playing this tank. Um, I mean, when you're top tier, I don't mind it. But I really don't like the tank when you are bottom tier. I do think the reload is... Uh, I mean, the reload's not bad. 12-something seconds for 500-plus uh, alpha. Um, but I just don't think it's a great tank. I mean, it's not, it's not like, awful... Um, but I do think it is overrated. And remember, when I'm saying tanks that are overrated, it doesn't mean that they're bad tanks. It's just It just means that they're overrated. People like the tank more than they kind of should. And this is the same with the KPF. A lot of people that own the tank actually like the tank. But I personally don't enjoy it. I do think it is overrated. And it's not a tank I do if I wanted to play Tier 9. This is probably the last premium tank I would uh, I would pick um, to play. There is other T tier nine premium tanks that I would prefer to play. You've got the K ninety one, which is much better. Uh, also, you have the T fifty five A, which I prefer. And this just become this just comes at the bottom of that pack. So I do think it is overrated. Next up, the T54 Mod 1. And again, some people will definitely disagree with me uh, here. Um, I used to absolutely love this tank. I really did. Really, I, loved, I loved it. When this first came out, I enjoyed it so much because it was just so strong. It was absolutely so strong. People didn't know how to deal with this tank because the armor profile is insane. But... That was a long time ago. Now people know how to deal with it, unlike this T49. Um, you can still get bounces. You can still get bounces, uh, definitely. Uh, and it's and again, I'm not saying it is a bad tank. It is a good tank, in fact. But I do think people make out it for it to be a better tank than, than it is now. Because people do know how to deal with it. You're not going to bounce half as many shots than you are, uh, than you did back when it was first released. So the penetration also I don't think is, is the greatest, um, but it does have that armor profile. And I'm not gonna lie, you are gonna bounce shots, but you you can't you can't always rely on on bouncing them shots. I mean look here, we come up against a T49 that didn't pen us and we lost all of our hit points to a tier seven challenger. So that's what I mean when people start learning how to deal with you um you're not going to do as well and when you are bottom tier you really are going to struggle penning the the heavy tank now the way i found to to play this tank is to get up close and personal like we're doing here with this amx 5120 um, because you do have a strong upper plate you do have a strong turret and you can get those bounces you can see here we've bounced 1800 damage i think we are going to bounce another one there uh, so we've bounced 2000 damage uh, we're not going to get the kill, but we are going to get the win. And we still finish on 3k, but it's not bad. Um, but it is overrated, in my opinion. Next up, we have the IS-3 Defender. Now, again, this is a tank when this was first released, I absolutely adored. And it's probably my third, second or third most played tank in the game. That is because it was completely OP when it first came out. And the reason for that is because, again... Not a lot of people knew it was a defender. Not a lot of people knew it was like an auto loader. Um, and you had the plus two, minus two matchmaking. So coming up against tier six tanks, a lot of people didn't know how to deal with you. And the armor profile, the armor profile is, is a weird kind of armor profile where you think you can pen it, um, but you just can't because it's gray. Uh, you shoot and you get the bounces. Just like we're doing here, and it is a Russian, it is a Russian tank too. So you do have that Russian troll armor. But now a lot more people know how to deal with this tank, and because you are, 
it's not plus two minus two i mean look we're just getting absolutely ripped ripped apart and because of that long reload i mean look 28 seconds 28 seconds for your magazine reload and then you get that shot off and then you have to wait another seven eight seconds for one shell so i do think the reload is an absolute killer in in this tank uh, people know how to really deal with your armor profile now, um, except for these, except for these guys. Um, so I do think it is much more overrated uh, now, but it used to be a really, really good tank. But again, this was like my first battle in the Defender for months. It is not a tank I, I choose to play now. There is other tier eight heavies that I definitely prefer over this tank. Next up, and this is. A lot of people that, again, a lot of people that own this tank actually like the tank because it does have that Derp 152. It is pretty much like a, an SU 152 with better armor and very troll armor. But the gun depression is a killer. If this had like four degrees, if this had like four or five degrees gun depression, then I think it would be a crazy tank. But Considering it has, look, we can't even get this shot on the Comet. We are face hugging the Comet down a hill and we can't get that shot off. And we have to relocate sort of back up and, and then get the shot off. So we did kind of YOLO here, uh, but I wanted to YOLO because I did want to show the armor profile because it is troll. The armor profile is very troll and I do hate coming up against these, but the gun depression is an absolute killer and I don't see how anyone can enjoy it playing this tank because it's not a good tank it definitely overrated in my opinion people disagree with me um but no it is an awful awful tank so that leads me to the last tank and that is the grave digger now again this first come out people were calling this completely op when you are top tier against tier six tanks then it can be really really good or it used to be really really good but when you're coming up against those tier eight tanks you're going to struggle in uh performing in the tank yes it does have that six shell is it six uh yeah six shell auto loader and if you can get the whole lot to pen like we're doing here against this uh this tiger p you can you can do what we've done 550 damage in, in a magazine which isn't too bad now back in the day no one knew how to penetrate this thing it was it was really really troll but nowadays people can just penetrate you all day long and again your gun depression isn't isn't the greatest your penetration isn't the greatest and if you miss two or three of your of your of your shells then that does dramatically reduce your dpm so this is why i do think it is completely overrated um I don't enjoy it as much as as it first came out. I did enjoy it when it first came out. I'm not going to lie because I just thought it was OP. But that was when I was just up against tier 6s all the time. And then as soon as I come up against tier 8s, so I, I kind of change my mind on the tank. So that is my top 5 overrated premium tanks. Hope you enjoyed it. We've got one more episode of this series to come tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm Meezy69, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye. We'll <laughs>